Knox Hill, Brody. Thank you, gang. That's all I got to say, bro. You know what I'm saying? Everyone that's here, bro, we're reacting to a reactor reacting to my reaction. You know what I'm saying? No cap. We're doing that. You know what I'm saying? We're doing the damn thing. And it's also going to be reacting. It's going to be reaction of a reactor reacting to a whole bunch of other reactors, reactors plus my reacting. We're going to do oh, There's a whole bunch of reacting happening here. All right? We're going to get it done. We're, we're going to get it done. I promise you. Pro Zeno got that coke flow, leeching for a promo. You higher, but you so low. I'm gonna say it again too, y'all. This was probably like this, this, this right here, bro. It was so enjoyable. It was so enjoyable, gang. I promise you. I was just, oh, no, I, I, I was smiling the whole time. I promise you. Going up your nose. Whoa, I know that you're faking, then you struggle for them O's. Keep on hating, can't get famous, so you pay him, but you short. I know I'm white, come get a snort. Whoever sees this and subscribes right now will get free Spanish lessons. Hey, somebody's gonna. God damn, that's how you coming, gang? What the? You, you, get, you teaching Spanish, gang? What the? I'm white, come get a snort. Whoever sees this and subscribes right now will get free Spanish lessons. Hey, somebody's gonna. I'm have already to subscribed. Can I get the Spanish know? lessons? What's going on, YouTube? Listen, listen, it has been a while. Wild 48 hours since I have dropped my Benzino disc. And I'll uh -huh. tell you what one of the greatest things has been. Let's clap it up, y'all. Honestly, it was a great disc. Honestly, honestly, it was a great disc. <laughs> it was great, y'all. I promise you, it was a great disc. I can't, I can't complain. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it was crazy. Hours since I have dropped my Benzino disc. And I'll tell you what one of the greatest things has been watching all of the madness and chaos that I unleashed unfold is the reaction channel is watching the reaction community come together for this situation. Because no I just cap. want to make one thing clear before we no proceed. No cap. I didn't... That's one thing I love too, y'all. And at this moment right here was the first time I actually get to see, like, I actually got to see firsthand the reaction community really get together and, like, you know what I'm saying, and actually, like, work with each other. You know what I'm saying? Actually see the bigger guys respond to the little guys. You know what I'm saying? See, like, the whole nine, I was I was just so happy to be a part of it, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And for those that I don't know, I just started taking YouTube seriously not even seven months ago. Six months ago, I was at four, 300 subs. Like, you know what I'm saying, gang? Like, no cap, y'all. I, I, I just love to be a part of it. No cap. Community come together for this situation. Because I just want to make one thing clear before we proceed. I didn't fire at Benzino on Eminem's behalf. Because Eminem is one of the greatest MCs of all time. He's more than capable of handling a team of ghostwriters. No I lie. fired at Benzino because of what he started doing to this reaction community. Because keep in mind, he did not just content ID people. That's one thing, to try to take our money and to go, you know what, I'm going to claim this. It happens with the labels, we can fight it. It's another thing when you copyright strike reactors and you serve them takedown notices. Yo, no cap though, yo. No cap. I hate, I hate when they do that. Cause I get takedown notices too, y'all. I did two, like I did two reactions, not even like, not even probably a, um, a month ago. You know what I'm saying? And they literally forcefully made me take it down. I'm like, what the hell? Like, I'm not even doing nothing. Like this video is up on hella reactions and you don't want my reaction out? Like, you know what I'm saying? And I thought they were banger videos, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie. And they straight did me dirty. They did me dirty. I'm not even gonna hold you. Another thing when you copyright strike reactors. Benzino's just you weird. Serve them take down notices. You have to take down this video. We don't like it. Otherwise, we're gonna serve you with a strike. And then we're gonna do it on multiple videos of yours. So if you get three copyright strikes, boom. That's it. You're and I already have one copyright strike, y'all. I'm already one in. You know what I'm saying, gang? Like, what the hell? I'm one copyright strike in. It's top one, one copyright strike in y'all you know what i'm saying i had to not post for seven days straight y'all imagine how that was for me imagine how that was for someone that posts every single day every single day on the dot imagine how it was for me to not to be off my channel for seven days in a row y'all it hurt me it hurt me bad i hated it <laughs> i hated it you know it's gone forever from youtube you can't make another one you are done AK, you're censored, you're canceled. And according to the laws of fair use, you cannot do that. That is legally incorrect on top of already being morally wrong. And I appreciate that I have a platform. I've got over a million subscribers. I can bring views and attention to a situation that may be flying underneath of the radar. I Watch when I get there, gang. Watch when I get there. I'm going to have the most max magnificent, the most luxurious picture of my plaque, y'all. I promise you. My, my picture is going to be me like, you know what I'm saying? And Mel gonna be there like... I promise you. I promise you, y'all. Watch it.
I have a responsibility with my platform. So in situations of censorship, in situations that are wrong, I had to speak out about it. I wanted to bring more attention to that situation because are they just going to stop there at these reactors they've already copyright stricken? No. Once they get away with that, they'll start moving on other reactors. Facts. Who's views they don't like Facts. promoting this ghostwriter situation and isn't it interesting that quarter labs is the one copyright striking all this when quarter labs is the one who also has cassidy signed to their label but anyways i digress for me this is about making a wait what wait what wait 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 <laughs> i i know i know i ain't just here to... wait wait <laughs> what Once get away with that They'll start moving on other reactors whose views they don't like who are promoting this ghostwriter situation. And isn't it interesting that Quarter Labs is the one copyright striking all this when Quarter Labs is the one who also has Cassidy signed to their label. But anyways, I digress. So they're trying to hide the fact. They're trying to hide the fact that Cassidy really is the ghostwriter. And Quarter Labs is really trying to, like... Copyright block these reactors to, to to hold their information and keep it secret is crazy. That's basically what I got out of that. <laughs> like, what? Bro, what, bro? Is the one who also has Cassidy signed to their label. But anyways, I digress. For me, this is about making a stance for the reaction community. Right, because right. Listen, you come after one of us. You come after a few of us. You're coming after all of us at the end of the day. Yeah, I'm not even gonna We're lie, not gonna bro. Sit here, gang, gang. I was, so, I was so for like the Benzino and, and Eminem battle and everything like that, bro. I was so for it. I was actually like, like I was like, Benzino is doing pretty good, y'all. You know what I'm saying? That's how I was coming. Like, you feel me? I was, I was, I wanted this stuff to continue, y'all. You know what I'm saying? But like, bro, you came after the reactors, gang. Like, you, like you know what I'm saying, gang. I can't, I can't be for you now. Now, now, every time I hear something about Benzino. I had to get toxic. You know what I'm saying, gang? I got to get toxic. You feel me? And you know, I'm not, I'm not toxic. We only get toxic when the music gets toxic. You know what I'm saying? But whenever Benzino gets brought up, I have to be toxic, bro. Because, like, nah, we're not we're not here for that. And stand That's weird. for censorship. And listen, you guys have been having a ton of fun just watching the reactions to this one, watching different people catch the bars, the expression, the punchlines that I'm giving. So I have sat down and thought, you know what? I want to give some love back to this community even further for all the love that they're showing me. I think there's poetic justice in the fact that I didn't content ID this. Every single reaction channel Facts. is making money off of this. Facts. Their videos are performing incredibly well. Yo, we all Yo I'm not even going to lie, Knox. Bro, thank you, gang. <laughs> thank you, gang. Cause like being be like, yo, thank you. <laughs> yo, he is making money off of this. Their videos are performing incredibly well. No we cap. Are all winning, and we are all eating in this situation. So I'm gonna take it a step further and do reaction inception. Let's react to the reactors reacting to. You me. son of a bitch! Ah, you son of a. Ah. You son of a. Ah. I thought I was the first one to it, y'all. He broke it down the same way the same way I broke it down. What the what? What? Come on, bro. But we're going a deeper layer in. You know what I'm saying? We're going deeper in, gang. You know what I'm saying? We're reacting to a reaction of a reactor reacting to my reaction. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're two levels too deep right now. We're two levels deeper than Knox. I hope you need I hope you hear this gang. I hope you see this. I'm gonna take it a step further and do reaction inception. Let's react to the reactors reacting to me. Oh, and one quick thing before I dive into this, guys. You see these? You see these right here? If you look at the link below, I will also Those pin is it fire. to the top comment. You fire. can get brand new chaos hats right now with the KH on them. They are in my shop for a limited time only. You guys have been overwhelmingly requesting these. So you know what? If you want these hats, I got you. They're on deck. The pack just dropped. Go check it out. But anyways, let's Fire. Into this. Balloon. My boy Knox Hill. Shaq. 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 I don't know who Knox Hill is by now. Where, where, where you at? Best bar breakdown. Gang, I've been watching Shaq y'all for the longest, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's like three YouTubers who made me want to do YouTube, bro? Shaq is one of Shaq is one of the reasons who made me want to just stay in like the reaction lane. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because I wanted to do a lot of things in in YouTube, bro. You know what I'm saying? But Shaq made me want to stay in the reaction lane. I don't know who not is by now. Where, where where you at? 
Best Bar Breakdown channel on YouTube. Facts. Yeah, I said it, nigga. Best Bar Breakdown channel on YouTube, period. Ain't nobody Facts, doing Knox. it like Knox. Nobody, nigga. Knox. But look, we finna check this out, boy. Facts, Knox. Facts. Uh, I feel like that's gotta like be the intro to an album right there. Like, that is the cosign of the century. Better know this is crazy. Thank you for the flowers, man. Thank you to the flowers from one of the OGs here on YouTube who paved the way for so many reactors. Listen, I know everybody has different opinions on things. We don't always see eye to eye with other reaction channels, but at the end of the day, we really are a community. And it's great to see someone like Shaq win because that helps pave the way for others to win. The more that reactors win, the more new reaction channels come up and can rise up. Shout out to one of the OGs paved yeah. the way, man. But look, we yeah, that's facts, y'all. One thing, like, like the, the, the one thing I can say, y'all, is that the higher ups do help the lower channels get to where they need to be. You know what I'm saying? No cap. Knox even put me in the video, and then doing what he did, y'all, po like hit post me on Instagram and everything, y'all. Like, it, it really, it, it, it gave me a good, you know, like, a lot of people subbed, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I had subs. I got subs. I had people commenting saying I'm, I came from Knox. Knox sent me here and everything. Like, it was love, bro. It was love. I got to appreciate it. The more new reaction channels come up and can rise up, shout out to one of the OGs paving the lane, man. But look, we finna check this out, boy. I already know this is crazy. See me, I'm a GoPro. Zeno got that coke flow. Leeching for a promo. You higher, but you so low. Run that back. <laughs> Already, see? Hold on. Let's go, let's go through what he just said. See me, I'm a GoPro. Like, see me, GoPro. Zeno got that, the GoPro, go professional. Zeno. <laughs> also, all the uh, the police Yo. Footage, you know, that went viral with the red roof in and everything. Like, it had the GoPro view, the fisheye lens, so the GoPro camera. Got that coke flow. Leeching for a promo. You hire, but you solo. So hire people to write your raps for you. Oh, but shit. But also, you're high because you're doing drugs, mm -hmm. but you're solo. You hire, but you're solo. So that was like yeah, that. Yeah, that have... was like one of them like multi-meaning bars that he had. You know what I'm saying? And, and Knox is a great rapper, y'all. I didn't know. I didn't really know. You know what I'm saying? I knew Knox just by like watching his reactions. I never really listened to his music, but his music is fire, gang. Like what the hell? <laughs> Hire people to help you, but you claim that you're solo. Singing but also solo. You're so low, so you're high, but you're also mm -hmm. go low. You're you're a low ass nigga. <laughs> uh, like he could be saying low key, like. He could be he could be saying like like uh like because he messes with dudes <laughs> he could be, that could be multiple things he's saying mm -hmm. there. Yo, I'll tell you what, man. Flawed did an incredible flawless breakdown of that man. If you want to go check him out, shout out Flawed TV. Yeah, Flawed's fire too, y'all. Flawed does a lot of Eminem reactions, y'all. Like Flawed does a lot of Eminem reactions, man. So like, shout out to Flawed, bro. Flawed he got numbers too. Flawed be doing numbers, man. No life shack. We we like those. <laughs> you retarded. Love that man. If you want to go check him out, shout out Flaw TV. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo. <laughs> Yo, Shaq Yo, be killing listen, me. If you're having a bad day, just put Shaq on. I feel like his energy, <laughs> his entertainment, he's always gonna make you laugh. He's always gonna make you smile, man. That's that's what he does. You I, I yeah, played facts. him for my wife today and she was cracking up. She absolutely loved his reaction, man. If you wanna go check that out, thanks for the flowers again. So what's this going up your nose? Whoa, I know that you're faking then you struggle for them O's. Keep on hating, can't get famous, so you pay him, but you short. I know that right now. So Eminem talked about busy no debt problem too, right? Now, not <laughs> saying you struggle to get them O's money. So when you try to pay people, you always come up short because you're struggling. But the no flip cap. is Benzino short. Yeah, <laughs> nigga like oh. five foot. Yeah, it's really crazy that TV make people look tall. Yo, no days, cap. <laughs> Yo, what's good, everyone in the chat? Yo, how y'all doing, bro? How y'all feeling, man? You know what I'm saying? It's key to game. We do this all the time, bro. Much love to everyone that's in here, bro. Love you all. No cap. <laughs> I hate to get a celebrity that straight bullet, but this nigga Bruno Mars short as hell, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he just caught his man Bruno Mars. That was wrong with him. What the hell? <laughs> bullet, but this nigga Bruno Mars short as hell, bro. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> it's time. Oh, that's funny. I tell you what, I'm going to be out of a job soon with these breakdowns, Michael. man. Also, O's because playing off of like the red roof and the sexual scheme and the O's happening there too. That's dope, man. Flow, leeching for a promo. You higher, but you so low. And O's keep on hanging. Can't get famous, so you pay him, but you should. Oh, and the O's playing off of O's for ounces and the drug schemes as well. I know I'm white. Come get a snort. Shit, I could write you a report that you would bite Please. it. Ooh. I'm white. Come get a snort. I've just heard that on the second time round. Yo, I peeped that. I peeped that when I listened to it. Like, he was playing a whole lot of, like, like he was, like, like when he was talking about coke and stuff like that, he was, like, really talking about how he's white and how, like, Benz Benzino be on some weird shit, gang. You know what I'm saying? So it made a lot of sense. You feel me? Like, I was catching a lot of stuff, and the, the, the great thing about Knox is that he makes it real understandable, bro. You know what I'm saying? His music is so understandable. I will always ask reactors to hit up Epic Civilization Rap by Dan Bull. Definitely will, y'all. Thank you for the $10 donation. What is that? That's Jerg. Or Gerg. Gerg. I, I hope I said that right, gang. You know what I'm saying? Much love to you, bro. Michael said, uh, Keezy Boy, what is up, yo? Found your channel a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago. Glad to be able to catch a live. Thank you, Mike Ross. Welcome, bro. You know we do this all the time, gang. You know what I'm saying? Every Saturday at 7.30 p.m. or 7 p.m. around then, we will be going live. So make sure you stay tuned. No cap. Uh, Dubs, much love to you, bro. We watching a reaction to a reaction to a reaction. Yes. Yes. We're that deep. We're we're deep. We're do Yes. <laughs> Ooh, I'm white. Come get a snort. I've just heard that on the second time round. Yes, like get a snot. I'm waiting. Come and get a snot. Talking about the drug thing. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I see. I have to really listen with Knox though because a lot of it I miss. But it's so I good. Nah, you do well, Lee. Shout out to you. you. Short. I know that you would bite it then record. I know you like to be enforced. I ain't caring what you sharing in your okay. little white couple. I ain't caring what you sharing in your in your little white. Oh my God, <laughs> man! If you just listen to this guy, man. Nah, Yo. for real, just hear me out, man. His word play. I'm listening. Like, I'm listening. <laughs> ain't to be played with at all. It's not. It's really, it's really not. not. I'll tell you what's really dope about that. I have not seen a lot of reactors really pick up on the uh, Karen, what you're sharing, and your little white couple. You know the white couple situation when Ben Benzino got taken downstairs, right? And he was complaining. Well, if we oh, was a white couple, that's what, what that happened. was. So I named a white couple of Karen and Sharon, but nobody's really caring what you are sharing online versus Karen and Sharon, white couple, whore, laying into that. And we know how Benzino feels about his white couples. Huh. Ain't to be played. It's a dope catch from this dude right here. With, at all. When Let's go. Them record, I know you like to be in. Now if I may, Dave. I mean, Ray, I got the sauce. I mean, the source. Come read this. I got an issue. I got the sauce. I mean, the source. Mm. Come read this. I got the issue. Mm -hmm. Some of the sound of words, but that packs a point. Shout out Stevie Knight, bro. He's killing it. Because you just went from Dave Maids to the sauce, to the source, or to the from the source to the sauce, which was a diss record at Benzino, and then he goes to... Bro, Stevie says things just so much cooler than me. <laughs> Come read this. It's all right, it's all right, Knox. We have that problem. You and me have that problem. Like, you know what I'm saying? We have the same problem, bro. A lot of people say stuff just a lot cooler than us. You know what I'm saying? We sound corny when we say a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's all right, bro. We're in the same freaking boat no cap you know what i'm saying do uh cash app donations will get i will get to it right after this video no cap cadillac what is good bro no cap diego much love bro thank you i got an issue dick how many mics five for that little dish you wrote bro playing on how the source ranks albums or ranked albums they give mics five mics perfect album but he flipped that shit. And they dogged Eminem for his Marshall Mathers LP. He said, how many yeah. mics from this source? You needed five mics to go in that booth to write that damn disc record because you had ghostwriters. You had a whole team of help <laughs> to put that disc record together. And the fact that he thinks that's all right. He thinks it's all right to have a hella, hella ghostwriters on one track to help you diss another man. Like, it's crazy, bro. It's crazy. And then you want to try and say it with, like, like you kill M? And you and it's not even you? Yo, you must, you must be crazy. You must be crazy, Benzino. I promise you, bro. Zero, much love to you, bro. Much love to you, bro. Ooh, that's fire wordplay, though. That's a whole, that's a cold ass game, bit, dog. Ooh. That's a cold ass game, bit, dog. You ain't playing right. with this shit, bro. That's fire. Hey, thank, thank you, you Stevie. Made, Dave. Oops. Always got time for Stevie, man. Great dude. I mean, Ray, I got the sauce. I mean, the sauce. Come read this. I got an issue. Oh. 
got the sauce. I mean, the source. Knox is saying, I got the source of where we know, you know, who is your ghost rider, which he does. Quarter Labs. Quarter Labs. Who's there at Quarter Labs? That's crazy. And then he said the source, so he's referring to that, so that's a double. And then, But the sauce, I think a lot of people might miss this. I'm a, I listened to a lot of Eminem growing up. Eminem has a disc called The Sauce. Hey, Mike. Hey, hey, should I listen to The Sauce, y'all? I got a comment on that yesterday. Someone said, hey, you should listen to The Sauce. And I was like, all right. All right. I put it on the list, y'all. You know what I'm saying? But if y'all really want it, I will drop the disc, like, fresh and new tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? No cap. It's a great Eminem disc. And actually, what I didn't include on this uh, just chop up, this edit, is AR. He's got the sight, man. You get it? He's, he's got him in the scope. But he did, like, a, he just started spitting Eminem sauce verse. For like 30 seconds. It was so dope. Him just like digging it up from memory and spitting it, man. And one of the reasons Eminem called the disc the sauce is because a lot of people from Boston, you know, with the R's, like the source, <laughs> the way the R's sit, sounds like the sauce. So Eminem was trolling, like the source, I mean the sauce. So that's why me, when I'm like, Dave, oops, I mean Ray, like I'm misspeaking, right? And then the sauce, I mean the source. So I'm laying into sort of that meta joke that Eminem had. That's crazy, bro. These artists, bro, these rappers and artists be just freaking insane, bro. I don't get how you just like, how you really just plan that out and execute it so perfectly. Like, I like, I don't get it, bro. I'll, I'll always be amazed by this shit, bro. That's why I love listening to music and then watching the artist break it down himself. What, what's better than that? What's better than that? Like, what the hell? Welcome, goddess. Much love to you, man. No cap. And then the sauce, I mean the source. So I'm laying into sort of that meta joke that Eminem has for why he named the disc the sauce in the first place. He's referring to that, so that's a double. And then, But the sauce, I think a lot of people might miss this. I'm a, I listened to a lot of Eminem growing up. Eminem has a disc called the sauce. Mm -hmm. mics, five mics recorded for your disc. Your views was falling off a cliff, so you... Oh, shit, that's deep. <laughs> you got how many, how many, you use five mics to record in for your disc. As in, y'all got five months. Y'all say you got a gang of dudes in a fucking studio. You use five mics to record your one fucking disc because you have five people fucking doing your verse because you said you had a gang of dudes <laughs> in the fucking studio. So y'all have five fucking riders. Gonna hit high. I request Knox Hill. One World Cypher featuring Mac Lethal, Dan Bull, and many more. Don't include this in your search. Gatsby 7 is one of my faves featured here. Hey, hey, definitely, definitely, definitely will do it, y'all. Thank you, Mike Ross, for the $20 donation, man. Much love for you. No cap. That's official right there, yo. Much love, bro. I, I can't, you know what? Clap it up. Clap it up. Clap, yo. What the, I'm going to take a lap for you, bro. I'm going to take a lap for you. Eat a goddamn chicken nugget. I'm going to eat a chicken nugget for you. Good looking, gang. Good looking. And a knockshell request too. What's, what what gets better than that? Better is this way he's saying in a way like exaggerating. But five mics was the highest you can get in the source. See, this is what I'm talking about. No, no it's just <laughs> the fuck I mean, bro. Yeah. It's been yes. living in the past, man. So. Sam Darnold seeing ghosts. You gon' dead who? I need confessions in the booth. It's what? <laughs> what? In the past, bit. By the way, congrats to Nick, aka Dom, who I shouted out also in this very diss track for reaching 200k sub. Sam Darnold oh, seeing. Oh shit! Damn! Shout out to Nick, bro. No cat. 200k. Damn. Shit. You making me. You making me jealous, gang. You making me jealous. 200k. You know what I'm saying? 200k. Like damn. It's like nah, y'all. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. You know what I'm saying? 2024. By the end of 2024, you know what I'm saying? No cap. We should, we should. No cap. What? In the past, bit. By the way, congrats to Nick, aka Dom, who I shouted uh -huh. out also in this very diss track for reaching 200k sub. Sam Darnold seeing ghosts. Sam Darnold seeing ghosts, you going dead who? Is that what he just said? Mm -hmm. Sam Darnold from the Jets? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Remember? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Bro, oh, you this getting is crazy. there. Okay, so. Talk about it. Talk about it. Sam Darnold was like just fumbling terribly. I ain't seen like literally fumbling, but he was just dropping. Everything was just not going his way. And he literally said on the sidelines, I'm seeing, I think I'm seeing ghosts or something like that. Like, hey, yo. 
Like he threw an interception. He like uh, yeah. what else happened? He was like constantly getting sacked. Like it was just craziness after craziness. And he literally was on the sideline saying, um, "Yeah, I think I'm seeing ghosts." Yeah, that was Monday Night Football. I still remember that, man. It became like a whole meme. Like everybody was sharing that viral moment because it was a hot mic. You know, they used to mic up some of the players on Monday Night Football, right? And Sam Darnold was playing the. Yo, China, does your name change? What the hell? I don't, I don't. Oh, there you go, China. Oh, all right, all right. There you go, China. What's good, China? Pats. Monday Night Football, I still remember that, man. It became like a whole meme. Like everybody was sharing that viral moment because it was a hot mic. You know, they used to mic up some of the players on Monday Night Football. Right, and Sam Darnold was playing the Pats. New England Patriots, Boston, of all things, I just thought it was very fitting to bring that kind of reference into the situation because I'm sure Zeno knows all about that. And he literally so he's seeing ghosts, like ghost writers versus Sam Darnold, which is like throwing picks left and right. Bill Belichick's defense just had him so confused. That's like, crazy. Seeing ghosts out there. That's and for crazy. Me, triple layer, like seeing ghosts, seeing us whitey tighties out there because he's so obsessed with obviously race and everything around that. On the side, That's saying, actually crazy. Uh, Fire, yeah, fire. Welcome to the fam, Zero. Welcome to the fam. Much love to you, gang. Keep the gang. The squad. Ghost. Like, when he was mic'd up, bro. Sam Darnold seeing ghosts. Correct. You gon' dead who? I need confessions. Sam Darnold. It's funny what that debt do. You getting head before you blow, dog. That's a red roof. Make your bed, go <laughs> get a room. But one bed for two dudes. Ooh. Ah, man. All right, I know I say I don't like when people reuse topics and diss tracks. And obviously the red roof being in the hotel. That is some weird stuff, bro. Benzino, you was sharing a bed with another grown-ass man, bro. That's cool. That's, that's, that's weird, bro. That's, that's, that's weird, gang. That's, that's weird, bro. Yes, I'm talking about it. We're toxic this video. I told you. And from now on. From now on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Anything that has to do with Benzino, at least. We're toxic. Oh, dog, that's a red roof. Make your bed, go <laughs> get a room. But one bed for two dudes? Mm. Oh, man. All right, I know I say I don't like when people reuse topics and diss tracks. And obviously the red roof, being in a hotel with mm. another man, it's been said like three different times Definitely. now in yeah. the last two weeks. But getting head before you blow, that's a red roof. Blow off <laughs> your head, that's a red roof. The blood on the roof for getting head. and I think I, I think I flipped about that same bar in my reaction. Like to the actual, I think I flipped about that same bar. It was fire. Stuff. Again, poking at the whole gay thing with another man in the hotel room. And then another tie with the popular phrase, you made your bed, now lay in it. But he's laying in Bats. his bed with another dude. Quit the snore. Yep. And then also, I saw Don point this out too. Dog, that's a red roof. So shout out to Eminem. Dog goes roof, red roof versus being at the red roof in. I think that's a four when you count it all down. And then obviously, if you look at the, the title of the diss track, it's Cloud Cobain based off of Kurt Cobain uh -huh. because... You know, I'm saying Benzino has a cocaine problem versus Kurt Cobain. Does it, y'all? Does Benzino have a cocaine problem, bro? Like, does he? I don't want to hear no. Don't don't give me no hating ass answer too, y'all. Don't give me no bias ass answer. I want to know for real, like I, I answer that y'all heard from a legitimate source. If Benzino is a cocaine addict, no cap. Thank you, Zero. Thank you so much, bro. That's crazy. That, that's, a, that's actually crazy. <laughs> that's nuts. And, he, and he's trying to talk his shit. And everybody know this? It's, it's diff Yes. <laughs> it's crazy. He do. Blew his head off. Red roof. So all tying that together with that line, the red roof line. Tie with the popular phrase, you made your bed, now lay in it. But he's laying in his bed. And then getting head before you blow, before you actually take off, before you make it anywhere, before you blow up, versus doing blow, versus obviously get blown in the red roof and all that. I want a reaction on rap game from Eminem and D12. Thank you. Thank you, Andy Allard. Thank you for the $10 donation, man. Much love to you, bro. I would definitely get to that Eminem. Well, Rap Game, Eminem, and D12. The song is called Rap Game. I got you. I'm on it. You know what I'm saying? It's it's facts. Uh, Rude Knock got you on that. You know what I'm saying? Rude Knock is definitely keeping track of all the donations. You know what I'm saying? That way, I do not get messed up myself. You know what I'm saying, gang? No cap. Another dude. Quit the snoring while you snooze. I know you've been used to it, so keep pouring out for views. You hate M because of color. You distorted out the truth. Do you hate him because he's different or he's a quarter of you? Uh. Now, that, that was crazy. I didn't know bro could speak Spanish, bro. I really didn't know bro could speak Spanish. That shit was nuts, bro. It was nuts. I'm not going to lie. It's some.
To answer your thing, Mel is right here, Brody. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Look at her, y'all. Mwah, mwah. It's my niece. So keep pouring out for fuse. You hit M because it was crazy when he started speaking Spanish, though. Do you hate him because he's different or he's a quarter of you? Bro, you can't do it. You can't get bilingual on me, bro. I know like six words in Spanish. Yeah, bro. And I try to look, I try to look up the freaking uh, the closed captions gang, and I couldn't find it. I could not find it. I'm like, where the hell, where is all this shit? You know what I'm saying? Like. Like, I, how am I supposed to know what he's saying? But apparently, people that is Spanish was telling me in the comments that, like, he was cooking them. So I took their word for it. I was like, yeah, he's cooking them. He's cooking them. <laughs> no cap. Damn, buddy. You can't get bilingual on me, bro. I know, like, six words in Spanish. You hate Eminem because he's white or because he's a quarter of you. That's a dope bar specifically because of some research that I did in my video yesterday. Because Benzino is always bringing up white in all of his arguments. You know I said the same thing. I'm gonna say it before he says it, y'all, because I want to be like I want. I want to be the one that that came up with it. All right. I want to be the one that came up with it. I I, I, want, I don't want y'all to think that I just seen this. All right. He said the quarter of he, quarter of you thing because Benzino is a quarter white. All right. He's a quarter white. Do you hate him because he's a quarter of you? You know what I'm saying? Let, let's see. Let's see if he's about to say the same thing of some research that I did in my video yesterday because Benzino is always bringing up white in all of his arguments. In his Instagram live, calling people saltine. I want to shout out some of Crip's videos. He does like some really dope research. And when he like gets into that bag, he makes like, yeah, great editing, great flow to his video and narration. He makes some really good research videos. And because Benzino is on top of being a dope reactor and a dope artist as well. If you Facts. haven't heard Unbreakable with both of us, what are you doing? Go check it out. Always I, yo, I heard Crip was a great rapper too. They, they have a song together. Like what? Yes, I did like Tom's new song. I definitely did. Bringing up white in all of his arguments. In his Instagram live, calling people saltine, saying they didn't like his stuff because they're probably racist. White people, stop being racist. If you don't like my song, you're racist. But mm. I do know that Benzino's dad is half African, half Puerto Rican, and his mom is half German, and I think half Cambodian. Maybe. Which makes I know up. she's half white. Which would make him a quarter white. Eminem is a quarter Benzino. Eminem is white. Benzino is a quarter white. That's a dope bar. Do you hate him? Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. Keezy, I just picked my merch out. <coughs> oh, I'm cool, y'all. I almost died. Keezy, I just picked my merch out that I want. Going to need a baseball cap. I need long. I have long hair and wear caps all the time when my roof is open on my car. Sydney, baseball caps out. Baseball caps will be out tomorrow. I will make sure I make one. No cap. Welcome to the fam, Joey. No lie. Hope you're, hope you're. Is white, Benzino is a quarter white. That's a dope bar. Do you hate him? Uh. He's different or he's a quarter of you. Darnold seeing ghosts. You gonna clap it up, clap it up. <laughs> we made it. We made it. We made it. Yeah. Come on, gang. What the hell? Come on now. We gotta see it. Put the, uh, the chair, chair has to go away. Chair has to go away. Chair has to go away, y'all. He's half white, which would make him a quarter white. Eminem is a quarter Benzino. Eminem is white. Benzino is a quarter white. That's a dope bar. Do you hate him? Uh. He's different or he's a quarter of you. Darnold seeing ghosts. You gon' dead who? I need confessions in the booth. It's funny what that debt do. You getting head before you blow, dog. That's a red roof. Make Must I say it? Must I say? I'm already gonna say it. I'm already. I'm already gonna say it, gang. Well, I'm we're, I'm already about to say it. What the hell? That that that. <laughs> it's funny what that debt do. Look what look what the debt got this. Look what the debt got him into though. Probably <laughs> like like like, probably like yo. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> no cap though. The debt got him acting unusual, gang. He's acting crazy. You know what I'm saying? We super deep. Yeah. Yeah, Dubs. We super deep. <laughs> What the hell? Come on now. Get right or get left. Come on. Let him know, Kenny. Let him know. We're we're here. We're here. Into though. Probably <laughs> like, like like probably like yo. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> probably one of the most enjoyable this is I'm probably gonna have. You know what I'm saying? One of the most oh, enjoyable man. beefs I'm gonna have. No cat. I'm not gonna lie. This is enjoyable. <laughs> Thank you, man.
All thank real. You, thank you, Kazzy boy. Clap it up again. Clap it up again. Come on, Brody. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. You know I got you, bro. You know we just be vibing. You know what I'm saying? We just over here, Keezy gang. You know what I mean? We do our best, bro. You know what I'm saying? We just be, we just act, we just being ourselves, bro. You know what I'm saying? Spreading positivity. We're only negative when when time is needed to be negative. You know what I'm saying, gang? You know what I mean? We, we're just doing the damn thing over here. You feel me? We're just doing the damn thing. Come on now. Cause he's different or he's a quarter of you. Ah. Oh! <laughs> damn. Look at her face. I'm done. Oh no! <laughs> Yo, I'm taking. Yo, what did you say? What? Yo, what the? I need let me, translation. Let me, me. Let me find. Wait, hold up. Hold up. Hold, hold the fucking phone. Hold up. So is he about to I translate it? Talking Spanish? Snoring while you snooze. I know you've been used to it, so keep whoring out for views. You hate M because of color. You distorted out the truth. Do you hate him because he's different or he's a quarter of you? Dice lo que quiere, pero todo es mentira. Robando la cotora, tú no eres. Ah! I'm the one. Benzino, Ben Zero. Mention M for the dinero, pero tú tienes cero. Shackles out the Stevie. Bro! Pull him up. Pull this dude up. <laughs> no, yo, yo. He told my pull this dude up. <laughs> Yo, Knoxville got the people going crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? Knoxville, you talented, gang. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. People be sleeping, bro. I was sleeping on your music, gang. I'm on it now. We're about to react to some more because of a fellow Keezy gang member. You know what I'm saying? Much love to you. You know what I'm saying? No cat. Bro! Pull him up! Pull this dude up. Who, no, Knox Hill. <laughs> you telling me this is Knox Hill, bro? Are you speaking? Maybe he might be a light skinned Puerto Rican. I don't know, bro. Yo! <laughs> Damn, bro. With my man. He might be Puerto Rican, but look, even if he's not, if my boy is just white, will my boy just can't be white and know Spanish? Like, you feel me, gang? Maybe he paid attention in Spanish class. I wasn't. I wasn't paying attention. I know he was paying attention, gang. You know what I'm saying? He like, look at him. The boy just spit a whole two, three bars out in Spanish. It's crazy. It's crazy. I mean, this is Knox Hill, bro. And he's speaking. Maybe he might be a light-skinned Puerto Rican. I don't know, bro. But yo, the way he's saying that, do no add un boricua. Like, what does that mean? Yo, he's saying that you ain't Puerto Rican, but he said it like a boricua. Like, that's what we yes. yeah, say. You know, ah. you know what I'm saying? Puerto Rican. Yeah, that, that is a dialect in Spanish, y'all. If y'all don't know what that is, that is a certain dialect in Spanish. And he literally, he literally took his own dialect and spoke it against him, knowing that he does not know how to speak it. Like, you feel me? Like, he, he, he did him dirty. Like, you feel me? And then he told him he wasn't a real Puerto Rican. Like, he's not, he's not, he's not real. Like, what? What? Different. Different, bro. Cooked him. Cooked him. But he said it like a boricua. Like, that's what we yes. didn't say. Tu no era, ah. You know what I'm saying? Puerto Rican. He said, tu no era un... I'm saying boricua. boricua. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then on top of it, he said he a quarter of you. Because you know how Benzino is mm. half German, half whatever, then half, uh, what's it called, <laughs> Puerto Rican, half black. Mm -hmm. He's a... That boy mutt. <laughs> that boy mutt, bro. He said he had Puerto Rican and the German the motherfucker. He, 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 he black. The nigga's like he, he Caribbean. The motherfucker's he's Asian. Like, <laughs> yo, I'm cracking up, yo. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. Yo, what's up, Robbie? Yo, Robbie's my little cousin, y'all. Make sure y'all show love to my little cousin, bro. Robbie, much love to you, bro. Thank you for checking in, gang. No cap, John W. The quarter of you, so he's fourth. And then he said, "Tuno er un boricua." He's saying, "Yo, bro, you ain't Puerto Rock not at ever. Mm. <laughs> you faking a funk on that." Yes, he that's is great. No, he he must know some Puerto Rican, bro. bro let's go like that, or he is. Yo, Knox, what's your girl Puerto Rican, bro? Are you Puerto Rican, gang? Like, are you Puerto Rican, bro? What the hell is your girl Puerto Rican? What the hell, bro? Come on, bro. I don't know, bro. Mm. Definitely, man. Uh, a couple layers to that, but. One of the main things I did, and it's really dope to get that feedback because 
you know, there's different dialects in Spanish, isn't there? So those of you who know that I've spent, you know, a lot of time playing soccer. I played semi-professionally, professionally. I spent time in Spain playing. I spent a lot of time in the Caribbean. Right? Okay. I spent time in Central America. Okay. So I picked up Spanish throughout the years in a lot of places. And actually, my first girlfriend was Puerto Rican. So I spent a lot of time. I must be a goddamn force. I must, I must be a god. Like, I must be him. I got to be him. Who else does this shit? I'm reading the future and shit. What? I'm reading the future and shit. Like, yo, god damn, Keith the Gang, we here. You know what I'm saying? Shit. I called it out. My boy's been in Spain. He's been in the Caribbean. He's been the freaking god damn. So I picked up Spanish throughout the years in a lot of places. And actually, my first girlfriend was Puerto Rican. So I spent a lot of time in, uh, in Puerto Rico and, uh, yeah, hanging out with the Boricuas in that culture. So I thought with Benzino running around, like, so obsessed with culture and heritage, right? Facts. You ask someone who's truly Boricua what that means to them. And I thought, what better way to, like, flip something and get under this dude's skin than one? Being a white boy spitting Spanish back at him. Oh my God. When he's so obsessed with heritage Cook and, looks and how things are. And then two, I wanted. Now, Benzino, I want you to take real notes here, bro. Benzino, I want you to take real notes here, bro. You see how he's coming up with this material on his own. He's putting this stuff together on his own. He's doing everything on his own. And he came up with this diss. That's real unique. It's fire. It hits. Everyone loved it. You know what I'm saying? He's showing love to your community. But, like, look at this, bro. Look at the outcome of this. When you're real in your shit. You feel me? Come on, bro. Well, if, if anyone was here from the beginning, bro, I have always said, bro, real music is felt more than fake music. You can tell real music. It just it just hits your ears different. You know what I'm saying? It feels different in your body when it's real music. You know what I'm saying? Like, no cap. He's so obsessed with heritage and looks and how things are. And then two, I wanted to drop that Spanish in the Boricua dialect, right? Because I just felt like that would take it to another layer because he's supposed to be Boricua. And then say he's not even. Like, the real Boricuas don't even claim him. Oh, my right? God. So I'm really trying to get under his skin and just spin it there. So to get, like, that feedback, let's go, man. That that made my day right there. That made my fucking day. You know some Puerto Ricans, bro, to be talking like that. Or he is. I do. I do. I still yeah. do. I don't know, bro. Quit the snoring while you snooze. I know you've been used to it, so keep whoring out for views. You you've been? Oh, come on. Right. You stop. You can't. See, that's the thing about, about Notch Hill. Is that you gotta you gotta listen to this shit over and over again because he has that little those hidden fucking bars inside he do. Of bitch. He's got those hidden things that you gotta. You and gotta, it's, not, it's not even that, y'all. It's that like sometimes you'll make like like one bar will mean like could mean like three different things, and he and he did that on purpose. Like it's not one way is the right way, but he did it on purpose for it to be meant and taken in multiple different ways. Like you feel me, gang? Like he did that. He does that on purpose. It's fire, bro. That little those hidden fucking bars inside of that bitch. He's got those hidden things. What's good, you got, goodies? You got goodies. Really What's good, it. goodies? If not, you'll miss it. It'll go over your head real quick. So, not so. I apologize. Benzino's probably not gonna respond or say anything for the next probably week, week and a half, maybe, because he's gonna have to put this shit on replay in order for him to catch up <laughs> to you said about him. God damn vibes. Man, that's just me being real. I don't. I don't like that nigga. I don't like that nigga. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, like, I don't like him. I don't, I don't even like that nigga, bro. Like, I, don't, I don't care, bro. I don't like him. Like, <laughs> yo, bro. <laughs> yo, bro, that is crazy, bro. Benzino is getting much hate, bro. Like, this man is not safe, gang. He's getting it on Twitter. He's getting it on YouTube. He's getting it on Twitch. He's getting Niggas is cooking him, bro. No cap. Silk Rod, my boy. What is good, gang? It's good hearing from you, bro. No cap, gang. Promise you. Yo, Ray Vibes is a legend, man. Much you love, talk Andy. About Stay someone safe. else who is just funny as shit. Go watch Ray. Shout out to you, Ray, man. That's just me being real. I don't, I don't like that nigga. I don't like that nigga. I don't give a fuck. Hey, DK. I'm the one Benzino Benzero. I love that. 
M for the dinero, pero tu tienes cero. I'm having an M for the money, but you have zero money. No shout cat. out to Stevie, it's good night. <laughs> shout out to Stevie night. Shout out to Stevie, it's good night. You know, knockout punch. Who's up? Yep. And also Stevie being involved in YouTube boxing. Good night, baby. Stevie night. Shout okay. out to Stevie, it's good night. You know, knockout punch. Who's up? Okay. Cliff for doing right. Shout out to, to Cliff for doing right. See y'all got the same, you were wrong but copyright Another you wrong but copyright that See y'all, like, I could be a breakdown artist like I could, I could be a breakdown reactor like this y'all But honestly, I would much rather just sit here and vibe with you Like you feel me? But I would much rather just sit here and like enjoy the music Instead of trying to like study it, you feel me? And really like, you feel me gang? That's the only reason, I wanted to really enjoy it Instead of making it feel like work, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to make it feel like less as possible of, As work as possible, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want it to feel like work at all Like, you feel me? I wanted to feel like I'm clocking in to talk to my boys Like my peoples, no cap, you know what I'm saying? He's a, yeah, yeah, Stevie's a dope reactor He is Welcome to the fam, Sydney Alright Y'all got the same, you were wrong but copyright Another you wrong but copyright That, that bit, that bit was just sick I love that bit Oh man, it's dope when you get another artist. Shout out to DK. You guys were saying I gotta check out his diss track, so I want to take a quick moment to plug that. I'll have a look at that, but hell yeah, shout out to you, DK. Yeah, I, I reacted to it. That was a good diss track too, y'all. It had me laughing, bro. I was just amazed on how the hell Benzino has the, the boy got beef in the UK. Now that this stuff has hit overseas, gang. Like, 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 like he he like what the hell? Like what? <laughs> He got beef overseas, though. It's crazy. His diss track. So I want to take a quick moment to plug that. I'll have a look at that. But hell yeah, shout out to you, DK. But the copyright lines, right? I wrote that. I think, what is it? Now I got to go back and think about my writing process. Yeah, there were four levels to that, wasn't there? You move wrong, but copy, comma, right? With a question on it. You copy, right? Like all you do is copy, right? Am I correct with that? Versus you copy, right? Like you copyright strike other reactors. So yeah. copyright being together. Versus... Copy space W R I T E. See how it's Copy multiple meanings with the ghostwriters. And then for me, there was a fourth layer because the way I tried to like stress it, you move wrong, but copyright. <laughs> See, you're like copying other people, you're copying all these dudes for cloud, you're copying real artists and MCs. So you're trying to copyright. You're you're attempting to move right, but really you're just copying it. All you're doing underneath of it all is moving wrong. And yeah. That for me was just like the four layers. And see, I really get a kick out of that. Like from my writing process and perspective, like I really love the lines where you, you know, you have like the complicated multis and you like combine innuendos and meetings. But for Facts. me, there's an art. That's exactly what I was just talking about, y'all. No lie. That's exactly what I was just talking about. Um, hardest breakdowns in general is Eminem, y'all. Eminem is one of the hardest breakdowns. Just trying to that's why I rewind so much in Eminem reactions because I have to rewind and, and it'd be my first time reacting to most of the songs too. So sometimes I just be so like hyped just to be listening to it that I have to rewind that many times. Ties and you like combine innuendos and meetings. But for me, there's an art and simplicity. When you can just take like really simple words and simple lines that you know, you don't have to know the background for that anybody, if they replay it, they might catch it all of a sudden. You yeah. know what I mean? Just like really simple words and turns of phrases that all of a sudden, if you start thinking deeper about it, you know, you can go like three, four, five layers deep. I always try right. to like throw that into bars and into lines in terms of my writing process. Like I, love I enjoy that. the really complex stuff, but what's really fun for me is taking like really simple words and like just really turning phrases on those. Again, that beauty con and that simplicity of writing. Wrong but copyright. That that bit that bit was just sick. I love that bit. Shuckles out the Stevie is good night. Shuckles out the cliff for doing right. Shut the A R got the sight. You were wrong but copyright. Now that peg is hey, I love how he's got his eyes closed, man. He's really feeling this one, Cliff. He he enjoyed this. He left some dope voice messages. I'll be doing that too, y'all. Sometimes I gotta close my eyes and really just like just think about the music and everything, y'all, because it's just like it's great, y'all. I love it so much. You know what I'm saying? I like for the pure joy you get from new music. No lie, goddess. I, I thank you on that, too. I, I love getting just, oh my gosh, bro. New music just be, it makes me feel happy as hell, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Shout the Cliff for doing right. Shout to AR, got the sight. You were wrong, but copyright. Now that Peg is. Hey, you do. I love how he's got his eyes closed, man. He's really feeling this one, Cliff. He, he enjoyed this. He left some dope voice messages ever. Cliff for doing right. Shout to AR, got the sight. You were wrong, but copyright. Now that Peg is. Hey, you do wrong, but copyright.
the copywriting fucking artists or, or reactors now who could actually give you good publicity or bad publicity. Any that's what I don't get, man. Any publicity is good publicity. Good publicity, to be honest. At this point, Benzino got nothing to lose. But he just keeps shooting himself in the fucking foot. I call him out, and then the next day he's instantly talking about how he had a team of people with him. They exactly <laughs> what I just said word for word, and he's Literally. telling you exactly what I said word for word. It's like, and then people are like, oh, Cliff's lying. How the fuck am I lying if I tell you something that a day later he comes out saying the same exact thing? Literally. That doesn't line up. Shout out Cliff, bro. Cliff a real one, yo. I'm not even going to lie to you. Cliff was the first person to say Benzino rolled in the studio with a group of dudes. A day later in an interview, Benzino goes, yeah, I went in the studio with a group of my homies. Actually, no, it does line up for me. But How does Cliff know that before Benzino even comes out with the interview and starts sharing that information? For the fucking people making these false accusations about me, it's like, dude, just go get a fucking life. Get out of your parents' basement. Flight, no you cap. Life Shack shout out, like I put on mine. Take us on these heights, but you... I like that, so also Pegasus. You know, Pe- but, you know, uh... Eminem had a line about Pegasus on Doomsday, but shout out to Black Pegasus as well. Yep. I actually met Millie. And there he is, right there, completing the Avengers. Shout out to BP. <laughs> but also, for me, it went a level deeper because I knew that Pegasus was in flight heading to Hawaii. So, like, a Pegasus, a flying horse being in flight. Yeah, my girls watch My Little Fucking Pony, so I'm all over that. And then Eminem with a Doomsday Pegasus. And then Yo, Black I Pegasus. never watched Pegasus, bro. Should, should, I, should I tune in to Pegasus, bro? His numbers are taking off. His channel's blowing up. Very well deserved for him. And then playing off of just flipping the heights in all those ways. Eminem had a line about Pegasus on Doomsday, but shout out to Black Pegasus. And then the Pegasus, but we're not going to get into that bar. We'll, we'll leave that for other people to break down. As well. I actually met Millie's, too, with Chris Webby. Dang, I'm, I'm slipping. But he said the best Boston rapper's white, and he threw Millie's in there. But those Millie's on your mind. Those millions are on your mind versus Millie's, who is from Boston, who could wash... He could wash Benzino any day of the week. Damn. Yo, Millie's, bro. No, don't play with Millie's, bro. Millie's is like that, gang. You know what I'm saying? I've reacted to a couple of Millie's songs, bro. Millie's, Millie's is not a joke, man. Damn, I'm, I'm no slipping, joke. but he said the best Boston rapper's white, and he threw Millie's in there. And I had a whole, like, Celtic scheme to set it up, right? You sell ticks, but drop no dimes. Like, you sell tickets, we got nothing to Celtics show Celtics from Boston. Versus, like, in basketball, dropping dimes when you shoot. Versus the Celtics seeing green. But got no shine. The Celtics wear green. Seeing money. Got no shine. Benzino's from Boston. And then it all leads into the Boston scheme from the Celtics to Boston to the best Boston rapper's white. Dang, I'm, I'm slipping. But he said the best Boston rapper's white, and he threw Millie's in there. So I'm kind of like alluding to that. Let me go back. Let me see if I can get back to where my man was. And shout out to this dude being on vacation. His family time well-deserved, and he's still finding time to react to me. Come on. Fire, bro. Fire, bro. The grind is crazy. His grind is crazy. He hopped on the flight right to freaking, right, right to Hawaii. Shit, excuse me, y'all. Hopped on the flight to Hawaii, and as soon as he landed, he's doing reactions, bro. Freaking crazy. Mm-hmm. Oh, snap. He mentioned everyone, bro. Mm-hmm. He shouted out Flawedzilla. He mm-hmm. said Flawed. He said you could get nicked. If you don't know, that's Nick, a.k.a. Mm-hmm. Dom, that singer reactions. He's mentioned, bro, that's super cool, man. Like, that's <laughs> cool. He mentioned Fact. me, AR, Stevie Knight, Cliff. Like, yeah. That's crazy. And then also the Nick, like, you could get Nick Cannon. And then we'll never hear from you again. But yeah, man, I know there's a welcome lot to the, more welcome reactions to the live, badass, like jam welcome. in for today. But please, comment down below your favorite reaction that you've seen to this so far. Let's just keep this train going. Let's keep supporting this community. It's amazing to see everyone come together. I love you guys. Stay Bad. safe, stay positive. It's Willie Knox Hill. You know I'll catch you again. Good looking, Knox. Good looking, bro. That was fun, bro. I'm on with live, bro. GoPro. That was lot. That that was hard, bro. Knox Hill really, like, he really put me in this video, bro. I was hype as hell, bro, when I found that out, bro. You know what I'm saying? I have all y'all telling me this and that. You feel me? I didn't really want to get into it and watch the whole thing. You feel me? I didn't watch the whole thing until I was on the live, but I did see my part. You know what I'm saying? Because he posted it here and there. I had to watch my part. You know what I'm saying? And when I watched it to look for my part, I skipped through the whole thing. So I didn't see none of this. You know what I'm saying? That was freaking hard, bro. That was hard. Much love to Knox Hill, bro. No lie. Hey.